In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove splinters with baking soda. Splinters are foreign bodies that are partially or fully embedded in the skin. Splinters usually are wood, but metal, glass and plastic materials may be considered as splinters as well. Splinters are full of germs. If splinters are not removed or don't work their way out themselves, they may cause an infection. Home remedies include using a pair of tweezers, grab the protruding end of the splinter and pull it out in the direction it entered. Wash the area with soap and water. At times splinters may be fully embedded in the skin. Use a small needle sterilized in boiling water. Clean the skin with an antiseptic and use the needle to gently and partially dislodge the splinter, which may then be removed fully with tweezers. However, sometimes there is an easier way to remove those tiny pesky splinters than trying to dig them out with a tweezer. Baking soda helps swell the skin and draw the splinter to the surface. Simply make a paste of baking soda and water, apply it to the area and cover it with a bandage. After about 24 hours, the splinter should be sticking out enough that you can pull it out with a pair of tweezers. If not, you can just repeat the process. Here is the exact method to use. Number one, make a paste with baking soda and water. In a small cup or another container, add a generous amount of baking soda, then add water and small acrimants and mix until you form a thick paste. There is no precise ratio of baking soda to water. You just need to add enough that you'll end up with a paste. Number two, apply your paste to the splinter. Use your fingers or a paper towel to gently dab the paste over the splinter. Add a light layer of paste to the splinter and the surrounding skin. Be careful not to push the splinter in deeper when you're applying the paste. Number three, cover the spot with a band-aid. Place a band-aid over the paste. Make sure to cover the splinter completely with a cotton portion of the band-aid. The type of band-aid does not matter as long as it fits over the splinter. Number four, remove the band-aid after a few hours. Wait anywhere from an hour to a day to remove the band-aid. Splinters that are stuck in deep would generally require more time. When you remove the band-aid, the splinter should come out easily. If the splinter does not come out by itself as you pull off the band-aid, try gently squeezing it with tweezers. Just make sure you sterilize the tweezers with alcohol before using. If the splinter does not come out the first time or is still very deep, try repeating the process and leaving the band-aid longer, say up to 24 hours. Rinse the area with soap and water and apply an antibiotic ointment after the splinter has come out. You may also cover the area with a band-aid after the splinter has been removed to help with the healing process. If a splinter appears to be too deep to attempt removal at home, then see your doctor. They may have to carry out minor surgery to get it out, especially if it's under a nail. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to remove a splinter with baking soda. And if you have, please subscribe and give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on the 40 brilliant uses and benefits of baking soda you never knew. Thanks for watching and bye for now.